I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. Here is a test question where we are going to analyze first and second derivative to find the equation of a cubic polynomial. The question here is determine the constants a, b, c and d so that the curve defined by the function f of x equals to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d has a local maximum at the point 2, 4 and a point of inflection at the origin. Sketch the curve. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, we are given the function which is basically a cubic function ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. There are four unknowns, so we need four equations. We are given two points. One is the origin, the other one is 2, 4 on the curve. So these two points will give us two equations. So let's substitute 0 here. So at f of 0, the value will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus d, and that should be equal to 0, right? since we are substituting the point origin 0 0 into our function clearly that gives you the value of d as equal to 0 so from one of our conditions we get the value of d as equal to 0 now let us uh, take 2 and 4 so at f of 2 the value of the function is 4 right the value of the function is 4 and when we substitute 2 here we get 2 cube is 8 right so 8a plus 2 square is 4 4b plus 2c d is 0 so I'm placing here 0 for d right so so we get this equation as equal to 4 now we could actually simplify this dividing all by 2 we get 4a plus 2b plus c equals to 2 okay so we get an equation let's call this as a we'll call that as equation 1 and this one as equation 2 now we are also given that the local maximum is at 2 4 so that means the first derivative should be 0 at 2 right so let's find the first derivative. So first derivative for the function is 3ax uh, squared plus 2bx plus c. That's the first derivative. Now at 2, 0, we have a maximum at 2, 4, right? So, I mean, so at 2, the derivative should be 0. So that means the derivative at 2 is what? Substituting 2 here, we get 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so we get 12a plus 2 times 2 is 4, 4b plus c. And this value should be equal to 0 since we have a maximum at 2, 4. Right. So we get another equation. We'll call this as our equation number 3. Now, from equation 2 and 3, we can eliminate c, right? Okay, so let's do that. So we can do uh, equation 2, take away equation 3. So if I do equation 2, take away equation 3, we get here minus 8a and here we get minus 2b. That becomes 0, we get 2. Right? That's what we get. Well, it can be simplified uh, and then we can write this as uh, dividing all by 2, we, we could write this as minus 4a minus b equals to 1. We'll call this as our equation number 4. Correct. Now, let us substitute the last condition given to us, which is we have a point of inflection at the origin. That is to say, the second derivative of the function will be 0 at origin, right? So, first derivative is written here. 
will find the second derivative. We get 2 times 3 as 6 ax, right? And here we get plus 2b, that is 0. So we get that as a second derivative. Now, at origin, at x equals to 0, we have a point of inflection. That means f double dash second derivative is 0. Equating that, what do we get? We get 0 equals to x is 0, right? So 6 times a times 0, which is 0, plus 2b, right? So, so that gives you clearly that, uh, that 0 equals to 2b or b is equal to 0. So we get the value of b also as 0. Now we can find a and c. So we know b is 0, we know d is 0, and we have this relation 4. So in 4, in 4, will sub b equals to 0. So what do we get? So we get minus 4a minus 0 equals to 1, and that gives you that minus 4a equals to 1, or a equals to 1 over minus 4, or a is equals to minus 1 over 4. So we get the value of a as minus 1 over 4. Now, to get the value of c, we can use uh, our equation number, equation number 2. So in equation 2, well, sub a equals to minus 1 over 4, b equals to d equals to 0, right? Okay. So in equation number 2, which is right here, 4 times a is minus 1 over 4 plus that is 0, right? Plus c equals to 2. That's what we get. Now, from here, we can find that c is equal to 2 and that is minus 1, taking to this side plus 1. So we get c equals to 3. So we get c equals to 3 as our value. So here we have the answer. A, B, C, and D, we can now write our answer as A equals to minus 1 over 4, B equals to 0, C equals to 3, and we have D equals to 0. Okay? So that is how we can answer this question. So the equation finally becomes f of x equals to minus 1 over 4x cubed, b is 0, c is 3, 3x. So that becomes the equation for from the given conditions. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.